Hi, today I want to show you how to use the custom wipe transition in combination with the can burns effect. I'm using the Kitten Live version 21.04.2 and for the demonstration I'm going to use these two photos. I have used them in an older video before so I already cropped the photo just to align to each other. Let's put it here and then make the duration a little bit longer, say 10 seconds. And put the other one here. So now I need the transition. So this is a vibe transition. I've already copied a custom grayscale mat on the directory. I've done a video before how to use GIM to create a custom mat in PGM format and where to put it. Uh, if you are interested, you can have a look in the older tutorial. I'm not going to the details again. I already put the file to the directory. Put softness 5 here. If I move it, you can see people appearing here. And it goes slowly darker and it goes to winter. So basically it blending this image to the other image. Now we want to mimic the camera movement. Now let's turn off this track first. I'm going to use the position and zoom effect. Put the effect on the first track and let's say I'm I'm going to keyframe here. So I zoom it in for to 120 and put a keyframe here. Now I want to move it to the left. So click the align to the left. Now you can see it's zooming in and moving to the left. Okay. Now we turn this back on, see the blending effect. The problem here, because the mask is not moving, so you can see it blending the second one just static. Even if I copy the effect here, let's say I paste the effect here, you can see the zoom effect on the two photos are the same, so they are moving both same in the same way. But the problem here, the mask is not moving. So the blending effect is totally wrong. Now let me disable the zoom effect on the top one. And go back to the transition and change it to composite. And the trick here, I'm going to this effect here, the zoom effect, and use the copy keyframes to clipboard. Now select the transition and import keyframes from clipboard. Just say take everything default. Now you can see the transition has the keyframes as well. The only thing we need to do is is uh, where do we want to show the second image? Let's say I go to this frame here. I want to show the image below. I move the opacity to zero. Now I need to change it to my custom mat. Okay, let's change the softness to five and have a look. So you can see it's coming up and the snow is coming from the back to the front. Okay, that's all about the Ken Burns effect with the custom wipe transition. If you want to know more how to do the uh, custom mat for the 
composite method here and you can check out my older video i hope you find this video useful if you like it please give me a thumb up thank you for watching bye